Hi folks, welcome back. And yes, you've guessed it. We are not outside the garage. We are not working on the van. I'm with Ella and John is here, but he's on the other side of the camera. We are at the Birmingham NEC for the camper van and motorhome show 2024. So let's go inside and have a look what's on offer, shall we? If you're new here, I'm Aidy, single dad to my twins, John and Ella. We're home educating and living life our way. Years ago, I worked as an underwater cameraman in Thailand, where I met their mom. We tragically lost her at the birth in Bangkok, but our journey wasn't about to stop there. We're now converting our big van, a Mercedes Sprinter, getting ready for new adventures across Europe and beyond. Join us as we build, explore, and live our lives to the full. Fantastic. Kids, you with me? We did, thank you, yes. It's a little bit busy in here. <laughs> and we're in. Now, we're not interested in caravans and tents, but what we really want to do, want to do is get ahead of the crowd. They all went the other way first. So the only thing that concerns me about being here is the fact that I might see a layout that I prefer to the layout I've designed our van to do. Now, I'm at a stage where I could make changes if I wanted to, but not really, because the wires are where they're meant to be and the battens are where they're meant to be. Anyway, let's see. God, there's loads here to look at. Oh, I see a sprinter. Let's have a look. <coughs> this is very similar to what it's going to feel like in hours, guys, except the bed will be higher at the back. Thank you, John. John, move forward, boy. This is practically our design. <laughs> How's that? Comfy? Yeah. So that's that same van from the outside. That's pretty. It's a bit tricky trying to get in. Everyone's just piled in and piling into the vans. You can't get in very easily. I hope you're all right, because it's obviously going to be a video with lots of different vans to look at. And we'll look at some stalls and stuff as well. But uh, it's going to be a lot of the same sort of thing. But there's some very interesting designs here. Look at the fancy LED lights on that. Thank you. This is one of those tables I was thinking about would be really good for us. Yeah. Where it swivels around, but I don't know. All that one swivels out. Like the exact same design. They are. That's, I mean, it's the same design we've gone for for the reason. All the companies do this design because it works. And the door just goes out. Look, that, that kitchen comes out a lot further than ours would. These lights are not very good on the camera. I'll just. I think we'll wait till we get to a different van. It's flickering. So we've just come across these. They're called uh, window pods. They're a really neat idea. It just looks like you can get it for your van. It'll fit the frame. And all these different colored blinds. I've never come across that before. Look, what's that? Same carpet, isn't it, that we're using? Yeah. But it's like a good, like... That's a shame, because we've already got the blind for the inside on our window, but the other side hasn't. Um, I've got one of these, and we can have a look at the website to get prices later, but uh, yeah. that's quite interesting. Elle find herself a chair. No, she's gone. <laughs> We're not going to move you now, are we? I want to try. We're doing a YouTube channel, bro. Yes, yeah. yes. We're Whitehawk products, so we sell massage equipment you can use at home or in your motor home. Okay. Just to get the pain out of your back, maybe you've got knee issues or whatever. But we've been coming to the caravan show for many years. Um, we love the clientele in here because you're all down to earth, real, regular people. Mm -hmm. Well, I say real, regular people, you're not, because you're smart enough to know <laughs> that having some form of escape from this system is amazing. So you're at, that's why I think we get on with you so well. Because Brilliant. It's a lovely bunch. But if you want to try, you're more than welcome. Brilliant, to. cheers. If not, anybody watching your channel that likes the idea of getting the pain out of their body naturally can check us out at whitehawkproducts.com or if you're in the caravan show, come along to Hall 17. We're on the back wall, stand 58, and we're more than happy to give you a free demonstration. Fantastic, Cheers, thanks, man. Buddy. Take care. Cheers, dude. How is it, guys? Nice. Is that it? You're not moving now for the day? You've got it on your neck, have you? We've got them for the day. <laughs> So the reason we want a timer is so that you know when to move it to a new area. Ah, uh, I got you, got you. 
Thank you. Al, are we going to go for a walk or are you staying there now? <laughs> <laughs> right, we just caught eye of this shower idea and this is amazing. Check this out. So look at this. We are in... Oh, hang on. She's doing it. <laughs> Go on then, Elle. Look at that. Can you see how that's working? It makes the shower room bigger. Right, let me get it from the other side. So as you can see, it's really easy to walk past because the door is inset, but then it comes around in this runner and makes the bathroom bigger when you want a shower. I want to go in the bathroom. That is an amazing idea. Go on, Al, you test it. How is it, Al? Can you fit all right? <laughs> All right, John, have a go, and then we'll try and get out of the way so other people can have a go. Bye. How is it in there? Does it feel like a good size? That's a cool design, that. Go on, Al, show us how it works. Yep. <laughs> we like an electric step. You're not getting one. <laughs> so we just jumped up into another one it's got the same idea with the bathroom l show us the bathroom look behind you this is such genius design when l figure figures out how it works look at that who came up with that idea it's brilliant Do not... come out again l you haven't like disappeared gone to another dimension have you <laughs> come on and then that pushes all the way around and you've got all this space now. Yeah. There we go. That's genius. And this. Because it allows for you to have a much wider worktop. This worktop is humongous compared to what you'd normally get. We are going to have a little oven. I bought a second-hand cheapy one that will fit in, so don't you worry. But I, I'm so impressed with this. Can I just have a look behind here, L? Taps running, yep. So inside then you've got a huge shower room. A that is such a clever design. I don't have a mirror, so is the tap working then? Is it L? Yeah, I was very... <laughs> that make you jump. <laughs> I wasn't expecting. That. Look at this. Yeah, go on. Push. What is it? Wait, wait, wait. Let me, let me do that. No, you can fit whatever you want in there. Wait, wait. Let me do that. <laughs> it's like a lot. Did you get all you wanted out of it? All right, we're done there now. Oh, that annoys me. Come on, in, get in and have a look. Oh, look, that annoys me. <laughs> Not as much as you annoy me. Move forwards. <laughs> oh, I like the floor. Whoa. Yeah, you see, that's kind of the table like would be good for us. That table would be good here, Al, I think. Look, I've got a little pop out thing there. Pop, then you can swivel, swivel the table. It's a few at the cut out. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh wow. John, pull, pull that down. Cool. That's good, huh? Nice. It's a very similar sort of layout. How's the bathroom looking? <laughs> good size. Look at the side flare on this one. Otis, SJ, if you're watching, look at this. It's a side flare that pops in and pops out. I don't know how it pops in, but we're not going to fiddle with it, are we, John? <laughs> I really, really love seeing all the innovative uh, designs and ideas like those showers and the, the, the tables that swing out. It's brilliant. But I'll be honest, these vans are so clinical. They've got no, I don't know. There's no warmth to them for me and it just, I would not want one to be perfectly honest. I'd much rather build my own with taking aspects from these ones, you know? It's, uh, yeah, it doesn't float my boat. I much prefer something a bit more rustic, homemade to your own design, to how you want it. These things are just too plastic and too clean and 
Anyway, it's each to their own, isn't it? Ooh, lots more to look at. Let's go over here. So this one also has that shower design. Looks like these are the new showers for 2025. Everyone's doing it. <laughs> it's a great idea though, it really is. <laughs> ah, now this one's different. This is a, you can have a rear entrance and a side entrance. Which is quite nice. And again, the shower. Okay, so maybe this one's identical to the one we looked at before, but the doors were just closed. I can't remember, can you, Well, Anyway. Uh, yeah, it was but I do like being able to access the back like this. Anyway, should we go out that way? Yeah. Yeah, incredibly fancy, and I really do like to see all these different ideas. But what seems to be lacking for like a family like us, for van life, is storage. There's nowhere to put all the things we'll carry, like a folding bike and uh, skateboards and uh, kayaks, you know, inflatable kayaks and things like that. They're not designed for that. They're just built for like a little holiday thing, but it's very interesting all the same. Well, I think it's safe to say that this is a little bit out of our league, but uh, yeah. nice to have a look, isn't it, Al? <laughs> look at this thing. It's like a spaceship, isn't it? Ah, this has got, oh, look at this beautiful double bed at the back. <laughs> anyway, should stop dreaming. This is, uh, I've seen these before. That can go like that. <laughs> and this goes like this. And then you've got a bathroom on the inside. We, I went to now we're talking, bathroom. big sprinter. Right, go on kids, inside. So this is a long wheelbase sprinter, just like ours. And look at this. John, move your huge monster body. Sliding fly screen, we like that. Ella's up a ladder. Ella's up a ladder. You can see stuff. Obviously this has got a pop top, which we do not have. <laughs> What's that? A few slippers. Step retractor. You're going towards the back, L. You want me to look up there? Yes. So again, this is basically the same sort of layout as us, apart from the pop top, of course. Oh, I like that wall. That's very similar to how our ceiling will be. This is obviously a much newer sprinter than ours. <laughs> how is it, L? That bathroom looks like a really good size. What's it like up there, mister? Good. So obviously there's another double bed up here. Now, I've got no desire for pop tops because, you know, we want to camp up in the wilds and you don't want to be putting pop tops up. Oh, is that a pull out cooker? Or is the cooker in here? Oh, the cooker's in here. That's just access to the gubbins underneath. Very nice. Oh, touch on, touch off. This is quite nice to stand in actually because this, <laughs> ignoring the ladder being in the way, this is the sort of space we're going to have, our sort of foot space in the van. And now it makes me very happy that we're going to have this area here for people to get out of the way <laughs> and sit down. Well, there's other people shuffling around in there. Look. Look, look. There's no door handle. How oh, is it? Magnetic? No, it's so, it's so, it's so. Yeah, it's just a lock. <laughs> it's the little things. And then look at this thing.
Okay, that thing, that is incredible. That is such an adventure machine. Hello down there. Hello. <laughs> it is such an adventure machine. That's incredible with the tailgate that drops down so you can use it as a diving platform or something. Like it, like it. So we're taking a little uh, tea break, but Ella's got a dilemma. Her cho hot chocolate is not cool enough for her to drink. What is she going to do? So I don't want to be my tongue because I almost did. So I decided you brought a straw for some reason. And I decided this would be good use for it. So now I'm about to put my tongue back in check. <laughs> We timed that perfectly. The lunchtime rush has just happened in that cafe. So now we shall go and wander around while everyone else is having their sandwiches. Suddenly, is it because there's fewer people? Yeah. What did he do? Right, we're slowly losing Ella a little bit. <laughs> She's getting tired already and starting to make moaning noises like she doesn't want to be here. Um, so to be fair, we're going to avoid things we're not interested in, like the big motorhomes. That's nothing for us. It's fun to have a look. And to be honest, once we've been around a lot of these camper vans, the layout is pretty much the same in all of them. There's a few innovative designs that are very interesting to look at, but we're going to just slim down on what we're looking at, otherwise we're going to lose Ella. <laughs> oh well, so much for looking at stuff that's not to do with us. So the kids wanted to have a look at this because it's more back towards the size of our old van. How's that? You can imagine being in a little van again. So you've got no desire to change the Sprinter back for Little no. Blue, Elle? Well, no. No! No, I, know, I like Little Blue. But? but Big silver. Sylvie. Silver. Sylvie. 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 We haven't really decided on a name for our van, but Sylvie. Sylvie's sort of coming along because she's silver, you know. We called the Little Van Little Blue. What was that, John? I suggested Sylvie. No, I suggested it. I suggested Sylvie. But then you said that you had a friend called Sylvie. I do, yeah, that's why I haven't settled on it, but maybe yeah. it is Sylv, Big Sylv. So big Sylv, Big Sylv, I like Big Sylv. Sylv, Sil. no, ew. Yes. No, ew. Sorry to Sylv. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how about Sylv. Sylv. Anyway, well, this debate goes on. Let's go and have a look at some more stuff. Oh, they look good. Let's have a look at them. So, like I say, see the front end, they're all very much the same. I mean, it's the same as the design we've gone for. There's a reason people build them like this, I suppose. It's a good use of space. And our toilet will be there, Ella's seat will be there, our kitchen will be here. <laughs> but then this differs in the back, this one. It's got a huge area of space and the bed folds down from the sides. So that's a little bit different. That toilet's a nice space. Oh, that's a tambour door like we're going to have, guys. So there we go. That's like our door. And then it folds around the corner over there. Look, do you want to have a go? Mm -hmm. All right, we have another Sprinter. This is what I want to see. Look at that. I love these things. Ours will never look like that. Jesus. <laughs> So look at this big pull-out storage it has on the back here. Wow. That's a fantastic idea. Now we're not going to have that much space left over after I've put everything in, like the folding bike and the batteries and all that stuff. But uh, that gives me good ideas. I like that. This is what we came here for. Let's have a look around this side of it. Oh, that's interesting. Look at that. So look, they've got this artificial like window here. This section here, that would normally be open, but it's got a window. Are you going in now? Might not be, might get a bit cramped. <laughs> so once again it's exactly the same layout which makes me happy that we've done it our way but i'm starting to wonder about a step now 
which I was never going to do before, but every van has it. And there's a reason every van has it. It's comfier under your feet. Even though I've now had my seats lowered. Okay, we have to look just because you have to look, don't you really? Oh, people are queuing up to get in these things. Maybe we don't have to look. <laughs> All right, we're going up and into a big, humongous luxury thing. Oh my goodness. <gasps> I feel like I'm watching Star Trek. Look at that. Look at that. It doesn't even, oh, the steering wheel pops off as well to give you more space. Oh my goodness. John, do not break things. <laughs> Wow. Wow, look how nice and trim that is. I could do that, you see? I could do that. I could fit you in there, it's so big. Got a little thing. Wow, look at the shower. Oh, my goodness. How much does this thing cost? What did you do, Al? That's a toilet flusher. How about don't press it again? <laughs> What do they do? Move your hair, boy. Wow. And that is a humongous bed. Look, hang on, Elle. Look, look, look. So that goes like this. And then this one does the same. And you've got a big old bathroom. I don't, oh no, look, it's pinned back so you can't. Oh, there we go. Look at that. Jesus Christ. So Ella and I are both in the bathroom on this thing. <laughs> wow. Get back here. Oh. <laughs> oh man. I need to go and see the Star Trek thing again. Right, come on guys, we're packing up in here. <laughs> okay. That's just amazing. Wow. Wow. All right, Bells. Yeah, we're never having one of them, but it's pretty cool to look at, isn't it? Yeah, that was nice. Oh well, so much for not looking at any more campers. Look at that for a sprinter. Oh. So this one's obviously built for a couple of adventurers. Look, you've got your bike slides in there, little fridge, barbecue pull-out area. That's amazing. On your arm. These adventure vehicles are much my sort of thing. Amazing looking. Ah, now this one doesn't have the step. This is a lot more like us. I like this. I like this. And that's very similar to the table I was thinking yeah. of. I'm going to get a shot of that for my own memory. That's exactly Something like hit I want me. the table for me and Ella. Just stop hitting me. That is very much our layout. It hurts. I wasn't going to jump. Right, actually that one was a real uh, help to see because that's the exact layout of our van and it's all been done very similar. It's a lot fancier than ours is going to look, I'm sure. But that really gives me an idea, so that's helped me loads. Well, so much for not looking at any more camper vans. We've got towards the end of the show and look at all these things. These are my kind of vans now. That is amazing. <laughs> oh, flashy lights, sorry people. Oh, look at that skylight that runs right down the middle. Oh, wow. That's cool. Sorry, I'll get rid of the flashy light. What's that, Mac? Comfy? John? I don't know, I'm magic. Yeah. Even with the bag on? Yeah. Once again, the kids are trapped and we're not going anywhere. Come on, you two. What do we reckon? Does Elle get a hat? <laughs> right, we're all feeling a bit tired, but we're going to get uh, some presents for Otis and SJ, aren't we, Elle? Before we go, Elle's broken. Elle's completely broken, bless her. But we found a nice little accessory stall here, so we're going to get them a bunch of stuff that they're going to need. Okay. <laughs> We got a bag of goodies for those guys because they're looking after the cat while we're away. We're about to roll home because we're all tired and done in. You holding that, someone? Yeah. Right, we're going to pick up with you outside at the van, I think. There's that big, beautiful machine again as we're walking out. 
That's a fantastic looking thing. Wow. Whoops. John and I made the mistake to stop and look at a camper van that was just down there. Elle's not having it. She's like, nah, screw you guys, I'm off. <laughs> Elle! <laughs> Why did you walk away from us? <laughs> so we're back in the car park, heading to the van, and uh, this reminds me of some of the airs we've stopped on in the south of France. <laughs> Literally hundreds of vans parked back to back. Oh, have we gone too far, guys? We might have gone too far. How do you find a Mercedes Sprinter in a huge car park like this? Where's he gone? John! No. I think we were quite, f I don't know how far up we were. I think we were parked there. <laughs> what, do you think we've got being stolen? Yeah. That's really helpful, thank you, John. There she is, right there. Oh, good. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, folks, thank you so much for watching. We're going to end the video right there. I hope you got some enjoyment out of that. I certainly enjoyed walking around and looking at all those vans. I know John had a lot of fun. Ella's burnt out. She sat in her chair waiting to go home. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and all those fantastic YouTube-y things. And we'll see you next week. Bye-bye.